Okay, we've come to Aeon today and it's the second day of Eid and we thought, well, let's come and have a look and see what we can buy from the supermarket. Look at the produce and let's try and do some comparisons with how much you'd pay in the UK. Very nicely laid out in different sections. Look at this. This okay. looks like it's worth definitely trying a Japanese cheesecake, 24 ringgit. That's just what, about four pounds, just under four pounds. Yeah. yeah. So again, guys, think about where it's located because it's Southeast Asia. You get that uh, Asian influence. We're talking about South and East, so Japanese influence as well. Um, so you have them sushi places, right? Uh, that we're going to be going to later on today, and you get that as such an like. Uh, how much do you get a sushi, a sushi buffet for one today? A sushi buffet, we're looking at around 60 to 80. Yeah, about 10 to around 10. 10 to 12 pounds, 10 to 13 pounds. Yeah, and that's a sushi uh, buffet, right? Eat all you want. And we're talking traditional Japanese, uh, at a traditional Japanese restaurant. So um, you'll really start to see it in places like that. Um, again, look how uh, it's made, it just works. If you look at the system, they have like a eating system here few small little places uh, that you uh, um, can get food from and then you can after you do your shopping you can sit down and eat it's practical it makes sense guys right um, so again this is where myself and Baha might come later on after you've done our shopping to grab something to eat um, so let's carry on and let's see what we find I wanted to bring to attention that uh they have a halal section here and uh, a non-halal section and uh, also they do state with the halal certification if you want more uh, evidence just to have a piece of mind. See over here. The halal symbol there also, the certificate of authentication, halal, from the government of Malaysia. So it gives you more peace of mind. Um, what should we normally look out for when we're coming here? Because of course there might be some places that aren't halal. So what what normally gives that away? Well, normally uh, people say if it's got Chinese writing on it, yeah. okay, uh, you need to be a little bit more cautious. And uh, Muslim friendly doesn't necessarily mean it's halal. Yeah. Uh, what you should be looking for is a certificate, Muslim uh, certification. Yeah, yeah. You look for the certification sure. in the store. And that would pretty much tell you that it's halal. Uh, what's interesting here, Baha, is this that they've got here. Uh, so they're, uh, I'm presuming that this is their like Eid offerings. These are the Eid offerings. So uh, again, let's just take a look. So they've got their local beef, tenderloin, right? One kg wholesale for 37 ringgits, right? So I'm presuming if you buy at least one kg, one kg yeah, yeah, yeah. Which works out to be around. How much does that work out to be? Twenty so percent. You're looking around just about under seven pounds, six pounds. Yeah. For one kg, right? All right. So again, price is there, clear cut for you to have a look at. Um, yeah, just take a look, guys, and do the maths, guys. Really, because when you compare it to what you're paying in the UK, it is absolutely ridiculous the amount you're saving. Um, anyway, we're going to take a look and see how it looks. Chinese produce as well, and because it's not far from China, you get that you get that price similarity thing, as well. The beautiful thing about being located here is yeah. that you can get all of the tropical fruits at a really amazing low price. That tropical fruit, when it's imported into the European countries and into the UK, is astronomical. Yeah, yeah. But here you get to sample the amazing tropical fruits at a ridiculous price. If it's just six ringgits, you've got to be joking. For six ringgits, actually, uh, no, no, fifteen ringgits. <laughs> Look at the price curve. Uh, yeah, actually, this around three pounds. About sixteen. So for about uh, two pounds seventy-five or eighty as well. Yeah, just under three pounds. Yeah. In Dubai, Good. when I was there, we this was around eight pounds, eight nine pounds. Yeah. yeah, but this this looks delicious. Even this, guys, ten ringgits, yeah, for this. Salmon nigiri. Yeah, nice. that's around one pound ninety for this, yeah. So, guys, you know, uh, if you love, if you're a sushi lover, guys, you're in heaven. 
Really, let's take a look at their iftar meals that they've got here. Really, oh, look at that. You've got to be joking. 50 ringgits, 10, around uh, nine pounds, yeah, nine, eight pounds for that. Whole platter. I, 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 oh, I would buy this really? now, but we are going to a sushi buffet tonight. Yeah, so we're going to sushi buffet, guys. It'll be really good. A miss tonight because we're going for a buffet, inshallah. All right. Right, really? Oh, I love this. They've got a little set here. <laughs> <laughs> like sushi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making your own sushi. I'd rather just buy it to be honest. Pick and mix sushi, yeah. You can do a pick and mix pick and sushi, sushi, yeah. Do you want to come closer this way, Baha? 1.5 dollars. 1.5 yeah. Okay. That's uh, ridiculously low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. So if you only like this one or your daughter only likes that one, just grab 25p that. 25p for that. 25p for that. Yeah. Right? Okay. And you can choose. Some are even less than 25p. Some slightly more sophisticated ones like this one is three ringgits, yeah? And those are fish okay. eggs. You know, it's not a joke, guys. No, that's like, uh, they call, uh, yep, fish eggs. Yeah, yeah. To be caviar, guys. Yep. Really. And then you've got tuna meal as well, which is 120, which is just like, I love sushi. I love sushi. Hey, great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Eid Mubarak to you as well. The locals are so nice here, guys, really. really it's one that you'll never choosing. get tired of. So, can I ask you when they go to school, they choose their own lunch? Yeah. They have to choose like their sushi, like this. This is really useful for you, yes? Like this. Did you find more of a savvy? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, that's the ones that you have. Yeah. Look, they're picking their own, they're making their own lunch boxes for school. Yeah, yeah. They're eating good, aren't they? Gosh. So I like myself. And I just stumbled upon these ones. Sweet rice chicken roll, spicy chicken lava roll, cheese tempura and roll skewers, tempura lava kimchi, tempura lava sheets. Literally, what, like, oh my god. One pound fifty to two pounds, and look at these Californian, California Makazushi. There's Friday B mixed rice roll set. Oh my God! If you love sushi, you're gonna love it here, guys. Again, look, hot. You can feel the heat. Guys, take a look at this, so I don't want to miss out. Yeah, we're talking like restaurant style setting. Like it's, it's, you'll get this at a restaurant. In the Absolutely, UK. you could get this in a restaurant. It's going to cost 49. you more. Come on. It's going to cost you more than. Uh, Imagine, pack, pack, pack lunch, three, three pounds. pounds, pack lunch, guys. Yeah. Rather than use plates at home, let's get some banana leaves out and just dish out. You've got to be joking. That you get here isn't uh, the cheap tacky stuff that gets thrown to the side you're looking at uh, good quality here as well yeah so you're not compromising on quality whereas um, in other places different sources interesting you know what I mean one thing if you if you like your if you like your uh, sushi guys and if you like your like Japanese cuisine you get that here but uh, look they got salmon fillet slices oh, for your sushi and no, ginger, no, 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 isn't it? No, no, it's not. It's not. This is this is sushi ginger. You gotta be joking. This is the ginger, the thing we have with the wasabi. I see. Oh, they got kimchi. Okay, guys, I saw this in Dubai. Yeah? This was uh, okay. It's around shy of two pounds here. Yeah? This was around uh, seven pounds. In Dubai. I want to know if this is our sliced sushi ginger. Where can I? You can really make your own, right? Where can I find oh, the wasabi that's going to knock this off, off? Yeah. It should be here somewhere. Okay. Fermented kimchi. So a, I haven't tried that yet, but might need to. Now I'm looking at the dried fish section, and there's such a selection of dried fish. Unbelievable. Huge variety of dried fish. If you're a dried fish lover, and each pack is like what? 
four ringgits, okay? This is gonna work out to be something like 60 pence. They use a lot of dried fish here, especially when they make, use, make their uh, nasi lamak uh, uh, dish or nasi goreng. It always goes as an additional compliment. I had it the other day with nasi goreng. Yeah. Amazing. You'll see the prices here. I think this is the prices of these jars. Salted mackerel in oil. Interesting. Some more dried fish. Huge selection. So this is the spices aisle and I'm interested in oh look they have some iodized Himalayan pink rock salt which is a healthy version because it's iodized okay and it's just three ringgits so like 50 pence an iodized Himalayan pink rock salt I think I'll take some of that I need some of that take that back with me and let's have a look what else do we have okay that seems like an Igino Moto but uh, it's probably sodium monosodium glutamate which I'll stay clear of that Chinese people like that. I think a lot of Asian people like to use also glutamate. Uh, what else do we have? We have many spices and stocks and sauces. Uh, so many. You've got your chili powder, you've got your turmeric, you've got your biryani mixes here as well. You can get all your spices from here. Like a lot of people use the Shan Masala, so this is a different brand. You can see here you've got the chili powder. About 250 grams of chili powder for about one pound twenty. And the typical spices you normally see in little jars, oregano, your garam masala, your garlic and herb, your fried onions, garlic pepper. Yep, spices, spices galore. White pepper in packs. Yes, excellent. That's the spice section. I'm pretty sure they have more spices on, on the other side. And then you've got your eggs, your free range eggs, normal uh, Omega chicken eggs here as well. Look at the prices. It's 11 ringgits here. Uh, for, I think that's like for 15. And we've got a pack of 10 there for 7.50, which is about one pound 10 pence. 20. We've got a pack of, uh, here they've got a, two, four, six, eight, 10, so yes, we've got a pack of 10 here. These are the Omega-3 organic selenium. So again, that's just about two pound 50, two pound 60 for, and I think that's like, you can buy two at uh, 15 29 so, so okay interesting so you can get all your eggs here so i've just saw my eyes upon this uh kaju section and as we've just come out of ramadan as you know um I've just come across this pack of premium Ajwa Kajur and it's 400 grams and I noticed just in the middle of Ramadan in Lulu in Dubai this pack would have cost me about 20 pounds premium Ajwa for 400 grams it would have cost me 20, 20 pounds and here it's literally you can buy it for six pounds i'm a fan of noodles you can't go wrong here they love their noodles here yeah. you've got your maggie which is always oh yeah maggie yeah, yeah. halal you get it in the uk mm -hmm. but they love it and the the, the the variety of flavors they have i mean look at this you can look guys yeah, all your, of this you got your kettle of water they even have that here. they even have that in the shops right absolutely i'll absolutely. show it to them 
So if you look here, guys. Yeah, everywhere. Look at the flavors, guys. Every single flavor you could possibly imagine. I'll take a sardine curry just to try it at home. All right. <laughs> And you know what? Let's try something. Let's try. I'm gonna close my eyes and wherever my hand lands, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. Okay. Tom yam, instant noodles. Let's do it. There you go. I've got some. Give You've got. I've got some iodized Himalayan pink rock salt because iodized is healthy for you. Alright. It's not iodized. It's not healthy, right? Yeah, yeah. Himalayan pink rock salt is pretty good for you. Nice. Cubes of rice. How would that work though? So basically, you stick it in the pan, but it's like a whole number of bags. I see. So it's almost like portion control. Portion control. And on top of that, for example, your pack lunches for your kids, yeah? That's for it. For the week, That's yeah? So dang, dang, dang. Have their boxes there. set up. After the rice is cooked, take Hello. out the rice. Cube drain. Of course it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yep. Really? Cubes of rice. Portion control. That's a quite interesting noodle flavour. What's this? Fried noodles with silly hijau flavour. Mi goreng, mi goreng. That's interesting. Uh, they, they like their mi goreng. I find wasabi sauce here. You still haven't found your wasabi it. No, sauce. I used to find the wasabi sauce. Kat, Kit Kat, I think it is, it's no? It's not, it's not. I Green was... tea, matcha Kit Kat. Oh, okay. They got the matcha Kit Kat. <laughs> Wasabi we had wasabi flavored chips today, <laughs> guys. My mouth was on fire. Wasabi, it just like uh, what's the word? You got a stuffed nose, blocked nose, have a wasabi crisp. Yeah, it, jam. I think it is. It is. It looks like passion fruit jam. It's a huge jar, but I and then they got honey alloy. Honey alloy. This must also be a jam. They do. Um, they have the options are ridiculous, though, isn't it? Rice milk, aloe vera, yeah, of course. That's quite interesting. Look at the look at the way they've set that up. It's sparkling great, but it's a see-through can. Yeah, see-through can. I like it, see-through can. I think also maybe it's easily uh, recyclable. recyclable. You know how they're eco-friendly here. Yeah. First shop, um, we've got some wasabi mama moruku, some uh, interesting chips, corns, and wasabi. We've got some. Chocolate cornflakes. We've got some white berry cornflakes cookies. We've got some biscuits, traditional for Eid. Some uh, peanut cookies for Eid. Ajwa kajur. Some halal jellies, because the kids love it, halal jellies. Ah. My favorite peanut filling. At least you can still get them over here as well. You can't go without the Mentos fruit. Ah, some Japanese uh, spring food uh, chickpeas. That's yeah? very interesting. Nice. What's this, Daniel? Matcha chocolate. Or green, green tea, tea chocolate. Green tea chocolate. chocolate. Nice. Guys, how cool is that? Then again, like I said, the iodized Himalayan Tintinop. Chocolate. We've got some chocolate sunflower seeds. I thought that'd be something to try interesting. out. Interesting. Um, ah, then I picked this huge guava, Luhan guava. It's literally 60 pence, 70 pence. I'm gonna eat that tonight, see what it's like. And I wanted to go for a tempura lava kimchi. Can't wait. And uh, we've got a nice cheese sandwich here for 60p. Oh, another mentos. And I'm gonna make a sardine curry before the end of the week, sardine curry in a cup. See what that tastes like. Let's go. I'll be interested to know what the total is. I'd be interested to know the total, yes. A paper bag would be great. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, Baha. Moment of truth. How much did, were we looking so at? So we bought quite a variety of things. We bought some souvenirs. We bought some cookies to take back for our colleagues. Some sushi, and it all came to about two hundred ringgits. Which is around. Which is around. We're looking around what 
35 pounds. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. Under 30 pounds. Okay. About 30 pounds. 30, okay. 35 pounds. All right. Okay. Great. But this is not your average shop, by no, the way, guys. No, this is not an average yeah. shop. I've got some souvenirs mind. here. We've and got some, some other stuff as well. special uh, stuff for Eid. So because of that, it is that. that is a bit more, yeah? But if you did your average shop, you're looking at a huge difference than what you're paying in the UK. Just bear that. In. That's what we need to take away from this, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. What are your final words? Well, how was your experience think, shopping uh, here? One, it was a very comfortable shop. Wasn't very busy. Uh, every all food items were accessible. Uh, a huge variety of items. We didn't go down the the, the soap and laundry products, etc., etc. But they are there. Disinfectant, you know, mm -hmm. toiletries. They're all there. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on food. You know, yeah, yeah. Foodie, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I needed to focus on the food. Do you, how do you do you find the food options? How do you find the food options? Have you I got? Think, I think there was a huge variety of food options. Right? More so than the I UK. Think if you like Asian food, Japanese food, you know, the Oriental stuff. Huge variety. Yo, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you need that because of the Indo Malays, the China Malays. Yeah. yeah? Uh, huge Asian population. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So for that, you need to ensure that uh, they kept happy and they kept well fed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but very, very cost effective. And I think even for our normal pilots, I think we can uh, get a decent shop here, you know, for our family shops. Mm -hmm. And also, what I enjoyed the most is kids were able to choose their oh, That was lunch nice. That was school, lovely, wasn't it? Pick their own sushi items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they're eating so like cheap. kings. They're eating like kings amazing. with a lunch, right? That is an so amazing lunch really that they have. Really, in summary, I'm well pleased with this shop. I enjoyed the experience. Okay. We're not going this way, but we're going that way now. This back, back this way, but this way. <laughs>